Hello all, we're back with you again from the Manu development team. Our functionality is improving and expanding. Since the state machine has raised many questions from our users about the capabilities of this feature, we decided to show it to you. To start with, we would like to explain what a state machine is. It is an entity consisting of a finite set of states that an object can be in, and rules for transitioning between them. This is useful for game developers as they can use state machines to adjust the logic of object behavior according to the game's design. State machines can be used to create complex game mechanics such as door opening mechanisms, character and bot behaviors, familiar behavior, and much more. Manu Video Game Maker offers the easiest way to implement state machines by configuring triggers and binding animations to state machine states. We have already explained how to set up a character using state machines. You can find the video on our channel. Many of you have probably encountered various games' unusual companions of the player. They are often called familiars or pets. We decided to show you how to create such a friend for your main character with the help of the state machine. But before we start, we suggest you subscribe to our channel and like this video. If your friends also dream of creating games or want to try their hand at being a developer, share the link to this video with them. We are confident it will be helpful for you. Welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to create a state machine to control the mood of a bot with various feelings states. To start, we need to understand how to display these feelings by offsetting the bot's texture. By setting the vertical offset values from 0 to 100 in the Materials tab, we can configure the texture properly. Each offset value moves the texture by 20%, and each step represents a bot feeling. Next, we create a happiness variable to store the bot's happiness level, and we set the initial value to 50. This variable will be used to control the bot's mood. To create the state machine, we set the initial state as state 1 and rename it to normal. Then, we create the other states such as happy, love, sad, and angry, and set different colors to easily distinguish them. We then connect the states according to the logic we want to create. From the normal state, we go up to happy, and then love, and from the normal state, we go up to sad and angry. We also connect the states the other way around so the game can go back to a previous state. By following these steps, we can create a state machine to control the mood of our bot with various feelings and states. Now that we've connected the states, we need to define under which rules the game will change state. We want our game to move to the happy state when the happiness variable becomes more than 50. To do this, we add a comparison trigger. To go back to the normal state, we copy and paste the same comparison trigger and slightly change it to trigger when the happiness variable becomes equal to 50. We repeat this process for the other states by editing the comparison trigger to our needs. Now our state machine is completed, and to sum up, the bot will move from the normal state to the happy state when the happiness variable becomes more than 50. It will continue up to the love state when the variable becomes equal to 100. Then it will go back to the happy state when the variable becomes less than 100 and back to normal again when the variable becomes 50. From the normal state, it will go to the sad state when the happiness variable goes below 50. It will continue to the angry state when the variable becomes 0. Then, it will go back to sad if the variable becomes over 0, and back to normal when the variable becomes equal to 50 again. By following these steps, we have created a functional state machine to control the mood of our bot with various feelings states. Now that we've defined the rules under which circumstances the bot will change the feeling states, we need to animate this behavior so the bot can perform these emotions. To do this, we create one animation for every different state. First, we create a new animation and call it Happy. On the Triggers tab, we set a new state machine trigger. For the state machine, we choose the feeling state machine we previously created, and for the state, we choose Happy. In the Timeline tab, we add the Facial Expressions asset and set a color for the texture. Here, we are going to set the texture Offset V that corresponds to the preferred emotion. In our case, it's 60% or 0.6. To make it more interesting, we can add an interaction sound for the bot. This animation will run when the happy state fires up in the feeling state machine. We repeat the process for the love animation. To trigger this, we choose the love state, edit the color to a different one, set the texture offset value to 0.2, and add a different audio file. Next, we set the sad animation to trigger on the sad state. We add a different color and sound and set the offset value to 0.8. 
For the angry animation, we choose the angry state, a different texture, color, and sound, and an offset of 0.4. The last animation is the normal one that will trigger when the normal state starts. During this animation, we set the color back to the original, add a sound effect, and set the offset back to zero. By creating these different animations, we are giving life to our bot and allowing it to express different emotions based on the state machine we've created. Currently, everything in the bot animation depends on the happiness variable value, which is initially set to 50. However, to be able to increase or decrease this value, we need to create two new animations, one for when we pet the bot and one for when we hit the bot. To trigger the petted animation, we need a collision event to start between our main character's body and the bot itself. At the moment, the bot lacks any physical attributes, so we need to enable the physics for it, set the physical type to kinematic, and adjust its collider. Once we've done this, we can complete the collision trigger event between the main character body and the bot, allowing us to move on to the next step. To change the happiness variable value, we add the bot to the timeline and set the happiness variable by adding an IF formula that will increase the value by 25 and won't let the value go over 100. This allows us to adjust the bot's behavior based on our interactions with it, creating a more dynamic and engaging animation overall. Next, we need to create the getting hit animation. We repeat the same process as before, but this time we decrease the happiness variable value by 25. To ensure that the variable value doesn't go below zero, we use the same if formula as before. The getting hit animation will trigger when our gun's ray collides with the bot. During gameplay, touching the bot will increase the happiness variable value by 25 and change the game state to happy and then love. On the other hand, shooting the bot will decrease the happiness variable value and change the game state to sad and then angry. And with you was the Manu Project team. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can leave your comments and questions below this video. We are happy to respond to your messages. And don't forget that becoming a game creator is easier than you think. See you later.